welcome everyone back, you amazing people. You're all supporting me. Just want to like to say thanks for the support over the last couple of videos. If you want more, really quick, just smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the red subscribe button. I noticed that uh, not all of you guys have the notifications on, so if you turn that bell icon just on the right hand side, you'll be able to see all my videos as they drop. This will also help me when I'm ranking in videos. This will help you guys to see them when they drop out and it will also help me improve my ratings so that more videos can come out and more people can see me this will help me uh, in my lifestyle as well I currently work, work full time work so I want to go part time so I can give you more of an experience thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video guys let's get it Lady Tsunade, we made it through Kakashi Sensei's test. I see. And judging by the looks on your faces, I'd say you passed. Well done. Hey, Grandma Tsunade, any chance you got a mission for us? Naruto, what are you talking about? We just finished the test. Yeah, but when I think about going on another mission, I just can't hold still. I don't know where you get your stamina. Well, it's good to be eager. You mean... That said, I can't give you a legitimate mission yet. All I've got for you are a few simple tasks. Perfect. No problem. I'll take it. All right. Choose your mission. Okay, then. Sakura. <sighs> I'm gonna give it all I've got! So guys, welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden Ninja Storm 2. Just let me know in the comments how, how you're enjoying this series so far. This is personally a, a, one of my favourite games series. So we're going to be going through them as fast as possible. So I'm trying to give you an episode every day if I can. As well as the Last of Us streams. So hopefully I'll be able to do one tonight. It'll be a bit later around 2am uh, UK time. So look forward to that tonight. Uh, we're almost finished with it actually, we've just got to pretty much the end of Ellie's story so we'll be going to do Abby's unfortunately and then we'll finish it off hopefully tomorrow and that'll be the stream and then I'll do some more really cool trophy videos and we'll pretty much polish that off. Uh, we've just finished Resident Evil, we're doing Chris's storyline at the moment 
let's get it guys uh, at the moment we're just doing some quests so there's not really much to say I'm gonna skip past it as much as I can there's two quests and then we're gonna fight we got gotta against Daedala so that's gonna be good look forward to that in, in the end of the video So here's our first fight of this episode guys, we're going to be fighting ourselves, it's actually a cursed ult, there's a couple of these around the area, you get to fight all the characters again, uh, they're a little bit harder, they give you some really cool items and some really good money in the game. So a lot of people like to use their super. This is what I'm going to use at the start, that's the uh, ultimate ability that Naruto has at the start. It's kind of like a uh, cloaked version of his Rasengan. You can basically use the Rasengan and Sakura. I like to use the Sakura and some Kunai into his clones a lot of the time. You have the hard hit but I don't really use that too much. That's the one at the end where he throws his clone at them. You have to watch out, he, he's it's almost the same moves as you, he's going to mirror you, so just be careful. So like that, he uses Rasengan against me, so I try and use Sakura when I am really needed, so I, I, it kind of is like that button that you use. I like to use the Kunai Barrage, kind of set it up, and then I'll use Sakura and my clones. I always have to make sure you have enough energy. Uh, so you won't be able to survive the battle. See, so he tried to use his Rasengan against me then. And now we're going to finish it off with the ultimate. He's pretty much low enough. Just got to watch out for him. There we go. And we should get the S for this.
So we managed to do that. The guy went back to his girlfriend in the sand village. Now that means we can go back to Lady Sanadi. So let's go ahead and do that. It actually gives you a quick travel there. So we have the next mission, Muzini has asked us to go to the barbecue place, the shop and the bookstore, the comic book store where we get cards. So actually two of them are next to each other, the barbecue place and the card shop so that's actually really convenient. And then all we have to do is go up towards the screen near towards the Lady Sonadi's Hogagi's place. Uh, we just have to go right instead of left. So it's actually really quick, we just go left a little bit after this. Next is the store. So the store is actually after the card shop, so I've just kind of gone back on myself, it's easier this way. We just go to the left a little bit and then down this corridor here. Just keep going straight and then you're going to the card shop. All you have to do is talk to them. It's basically going to show you some of the cool places where you can buy stuff. The card shop, you can buy ninja cards for your screen, especially in multiplayer. It's pretty decent. They have it in most of the narrative shipping on games. So it's really cool that they've done that. And then the last one is going to be the regular store. Now that has the ultimate ninja moves that you want to get. Uh, there's quite a few music if you want to use that in your game and change the music. And also there's going to be art and things like that. And little clips and movies of like the game, like the cinematics. Yes, you did well. Phew. We've been doing a lot of running around, huh? Let's see, what should we do next? 
<laughs> My stomach's growling. Well, we have been doing a lot of moving around. <laughs> In that case, I think I'll head over to my favorite place. Don't tell me. You mean Ichiraku, right? Bingo! I haven't had Ichiraku ramen in ages. I'm gonna stuff myself silly. So, wanna come along, Sakura? Sorry, but I'm keeping Sakura here with me. I have something for her to do. Something to do? I could help. I'd love it if you would, but it's a medical request. Uh, I don't think I can help with that. Never mind. You go to Ichiraku and enjoy your ramen. Sounds good. That's what I'm gonna do. Some ramen from Ichiraku. Huh? Huh? Sh Shikamaru? Hey! Naruto! No way! Is that really you? You're back! It is you, Shikamaru! No way! You're that knucklehead. Huh? Weren't you from the Hidden Sand Village? The name's Tamari. It's been a long time. Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, totally. And then, just a little while ago, I had my first drill. You just got back and you're already busy, huh? <laughs> By the way, what are you guys up to? Are you on a date? Oh, please. Like I would ever. We're just back in the Hidden Leaf, making arrangements for the next tuning exam. The tuning exam, huh? Brings back memories. Uh, reminiscing is fine, but what are you gonna do about the exam? Huh? Why? What do you mean, why? You're the only one in our year who isn't a tuning. What? So wait, then Sakura and Choji, Hinata, they're all tuning? That's what I said, isn't it? You're the only holdout. Ah! You gotta be kidding. I'm really the only Genin? Well, I'll be. I thought it was pretty noisy around here, and I was right. It is you. Huh? I Iruka Sensei? I thought even you would have grown up a little in three years, but. Whoa! I haven't seen you in so long. Iruka Sensei, you haven't changed at all. Hmm. Restless as ever, I see. Restless? You better believe I'm restless. I mean, everybody's a tuning except me. All right, all right. Just calm down. I'll listen to the whole story at Ichiraku. How's that? What? You finished your training with Lord Jiraiya, haven't you? In that case, to celebrate the end of your training, I'll buy you all the ramen you can eat. Whoa! How lucky is that? I was just on my way there. Well then, go on ahead. Once you've finished talking, meet me at Ichiraku. Ramen with Iruka Sensei. For some reason, that makes me really, really happy. Chapter 1. Rescue the Kazekage. <laughs> ramen! Ramen! Oh, hey! Shikamaru! Tamari! Wanna come? He's gonna treat us! Nah, we still got work to do. Gotta pass this time. Work, huh? Eh, well, them's the breaks. Let's grab a bite soon, though, okay? Sounds like a plan. Whoa, I'm seriously starving now. I've got to get to Ichiraku. 
Hey, have enough for the three of us. You got it. Bye, guys. See you later. I see. So that's why you were kicking up such a fuss. Man, everybody's a tuning, and I'm the only Genin. Don't get so hung up on rank, Naruto. You've been training under Lord Jiraiya. That counts for a lot more. Yeah, I guess so. But Iruka sensei that pervy sage, he was ruthless. My headband and my clothes were in rags. I, I actually had to get new ones. Well, clothes can be replaced. The training you've endured cannot. Why, just look at how strong you've become. Yeah, I might be even stronger than you now, Iruka sensei <laughs> Don't push it, kid. <laughs> Someday, you and me should have a match. Oh. What's wrong? That's right. I keep forgetting to ask you. I know Sakura and the others are tuning, but what about him? What about Gara? Uh, oh yeah, him. Wait, don't tell me he made Jonin instead of tuning. Uh, no, he's a bit special. Special? Just in case, I brought my specialty. Just watch and learn, Sasori. What do you think of my artistic creation, hmm? Just don't keep me waiting. The one-tailed Shikaku's host, Gara of the Sand. Show me your art. my infiltration. Nice work. Just what I'd expect from the Kaze Kage of the Hidden Sand. That cloak. You're one of the Akatsuki, aren't you? So the operation failed, hmm? Well, at least I don't have to search for you anymore. You. All right, let's hurry up and settle this. I will protect this village. <laughs> Okay guys, so we learned a lot about the past and Naruto not being a tuning yet and he's still a Genie and that he resents it but then he realises that he had all this cool training from Jiraiya so it doesn't really matter as much and that he should just keep going even though his friends have progressed 
And now we get a chance to fight with Gara against Daedra. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to start with trying to use my kunai, uh, but it's with a little bit of energy. So that's the triangle button, press the square button. It's going to stun him a lot, so that means we can use the circle button, which is kind of like when you use your clones with Naruto. He'll use sand, and then he'll throw these arms at him. Um, halfway through this fight, actually, I tried to use my special, but he was stunned, or he was out of the area, and he wasn't quite hitting. I was either too close, or it just wouldn't work for some reason, but I managed to get him eventually, so... He nails me a lot with his bombs. The really annoying thing about Daedra is his main attack is kind of like the sand attack that Gara has. And he just throws bombs at you. So you kind of have to guard a lot. And you don't always guard the right ones. And you have to get that hit like you saw then to basically hit him down from his bird. As you see, he's, he's done now. This is what I'm trying to do is use my ultimate. I tried to move out of the way but it still didn't hit so I just hit him a little bit there as you can see. I tried to get the combo but he flew away so I tried to get my energy back up. That's the best thing you can do at this point. And then I'm trying to throw loads of kunai at him so I can drop his level enough so that we can do the next scene. So he's got another blue bar here so we're going to try and take that down here. As you can see I managed to get quite a few hits in. Did quite a bit of damage there. Just always make sure that you replenishing your energy and you're good to go. A big tip is that you don't always have to use your skills at the right time. There you can see I didn't manage to block it but I managed to throw a few kunai at him. Later on I try and use the kuno burst, it's a really cool ability. If you set it up right it will hit him at the right time. I didn't quite hit him because he flew out of my range. I managed to block quite a few of his hits there, which is really cool. I keep trying to throw up these kind of sand kunai, as you will. But he came back towards me and tried to blow me up. So now I get that quick speed boost towards him. And then I try to stun him and stop him from going up. But he actually activates the next scene. So pretty much most of the next scene is going to be cinematics now. So you just have to make sure you get the right directions and you get all the stars and the secret factor there you go i got the secret factor it's just above the stars as you can see i played this quite a few times it's been a while since i played it but i managed to get it straight away on first go so it's not that bad really enjoyed this fight actually garo is actually really hits home garan neji and lee they really did have really good story arcs I wish they'd done a little bit more on Lee though, he kind of left him at the back with Neji. He kind of just, it was a really good way they killed Neji off actually in the original, so it's really cool there. We've got kind of like a mini game here, you have to shoot the bombs, I actually forgot that the things that uh, Gara was throwing at me was the bombs and you can actually hit them. I was kind of just mashing all the buttons together trying to get as much damage as possible but uh, I think the radar actually shows where the bombs are so then if you move it around a little bit I realize you can hit the bombs as well so you don't take as much damage and then he uses his bombs like fire I get hit a few times but uh, we're pretty much good to go we didn't do too bad and I think we'll be getting the S rank from this now he's going to use kind of like the sand to attack him. He's going to do quite a bit of damage there. And then we're going to finish him off with some more of these. See, at, towards the end I managed to realise what these bombs were. I completely forgot how to play this little mini game actually, to be honest. It's not like this in the other versions. It's kind of more of a straightforward fight. He's a little bit harder though, because... Uh, he actually fights you full on and he does a ton of damage and he has this new kind of moves in the next one. The reincarnated version isn't as strong as the real version to be perfectly honest in my opinion. He's a lot stronger in his true form. So there we go guys, we managed to get the last little one. There we go, we got a secret factor there.
I'll back off for now. We got the S rank, that's really good, but do we get away? Does Gara get away? He managed to defeat what we, looks like Gara, but in real fact it's just a clone, as you see here. Unfortunately, he gets taken away, and then we will be taking the fight to Daedra in the next one, and the Akatsuki. So, hopefully in the next one, Gara and... Daedra will be sorted out and we'll get to play as Naruto and maybe even Kakashi or Sakura a little bit. Is it over then? I would say not. <laughs> that was pretty close. He took that and he's still. But in the end, the victory's mine. No! <laughs> Man, that took some doing. Mixing detonating clay and sand in a gourd. He wasn't giving me any openings either. You're as tough as I figured, Kazekage. Now I'm gonna take you someplace fun. Hmm. start its next mission. Hmm. What's wrong, Naruto? Something on your mind? It's just, I never thought Gara would become Kazakage. I'm a little bit frustrated, a little bit happy. I understand frustrated, but you're happy too? Well, if he's Kazakage, it means everyone's acknowledged him, right? He's probably had a really tough time, but Gara did it. He worked and worked and became Kazakage. I can't help but feel happy for him. <laughs> well then, you better do the same. You can't let Gara outdo you in the hard work department. 
Yeah, I'm gonna work hard on missions and become Hokage in no time. That's one thing about you that hasn't changed at all. So let's hurry up and get started on the mission, Kakashi Sensei. Right, but first, let's go see the fifth Hokage and get our next mission. Gotcha. So next time we have our first proper mission with the Kakashi team. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Smash that like button if you want more and I'll catch you in the next one.